What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna explain what I'm doing in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you my outfit first because I'm about to leave. This is a little mock neck sweater from H&M. It's so cute, one of my favorite sweaters. I love it. Jeans are just skinny jeans. High-waisted from Zara. And then my Air Force Ones, because what else do I wear ever? <laughs> and then earrings. Gold hoops are from Brandy. And these little star diamond earrings are from Francesca's. Let's go. Hey guys, so now I'll kind of explain what's going on. Um, today's Thursday, I didn't even say that yet. And I'm at school right now even though I didn't have class today because one of my classes requires five different like service type of ministry volunteer events that we have to do. <clears throat> so today I'm doing something with a homeless ministry on campus and we're gonna like make food and bring it downtown and just hang out with some friends down there. So it should be really exciting. I obviously can't film anything and even if I could, I don't think I mean, I know I wouldn't just because, you know, that's a lot of like privacy um, type of issues I'd be dealing with and I just wouldn't want to invade their privacy like that. But yeah, I'm really excited and I'll let you guys know how it goes afterwards. Should be really fun. And I've never done anything like this. I've like served in like a food kitchen before um, for the homeless, but I've never actually like made food and like delivered it to them personally and like had conversations. So I'm really excited. I'll let you know how it goes and I'll see you after. So, ready, set, go. Hi, I'm Kalani. <laughs> um, Lauren is a friend from my sociology class. And she's amazing. That's it? I just found out she was famous. <laughs> good night. Okay, good night. But now, anyways, happy Friday. Um, I am sitting in my car right now. I just had human development, which is my first class on Fridays. It's 9.52 now. Um, I didn't go to chapel because I'm really gonna take this time to study for a sociology test that I have. And I'm also gonna read a book that I have to be finished with by next week. And I'm not really even close to being done with it yet, so I really need to get on that. So that's what I'm gonna take this time to do right now. I'm not gonna be slacking off, skipping chapel, but I'm actually gonna be doing things that I need to do really badly. And then I don't really have time for otherwise, so yeah. done now I just took my sociology test and that was for sure the hardest um, open note test I've ever taken literally it didn't even help that it was over no open notes really still very much of a struggle but I'm done now and I work in like two hours so I have to go home right now and shower and get ready <sighs> so yeah also 
<clears throat> Side note, I eat these things legit every day. I bring one every single day to school so I can eat when I get hungry because I always get hungry. These are the Cliff Bars, the coconut chocolate chip ones, and I'm obsessed with coconut and I'll literally eat anything coconut, so fun fact. But yeah, I'm gonna drive home now. I'll let you know when I'm home. Hello. Hello. No. 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 Come down. But clearly I just showered and it's now 2 o'clock. I work at 3.30. So I've got some time to get ready. I'm just going to do my skincare right now and then I'm going to do my makeup. But I'm not going to film my makeup because I kind of want to watch YouTube videos while I, while I do my makeup. So first I'm using the Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. And I don't know if I've talked about this before on my channel. But I've been using this for a long time now and it's like half gone. I use it every single day and every single night. And I mean, is it helping my skin? I don't know because if you have watched my recent videos, you know that I am breaking out so much right now. There's no apparent reason why I'm breaking out. So don't really know what's helping and what's just making it worse, but I'm kind of just kind of trying to stick to certain things to see if in the long run they didn't cause it, they're just helping my skin. So moisturizer, I use the CeraVe, CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion also every single day. Um, I kind of think it was those two serums that I bought from TJ Maxx a while ago that was what made me break out because it didn't happen like right after I started using them. It took like a couple weeks for my skin to like react to it. So it might be that, it might not. I honestly don't know. And it's a little stressful because my skin is where my confidence comes from and when my skin is not happy, I am not happy. Well, let's just put it like that. I also, <clears throat> don't know if I talked about this, but I also went off birth control just because I really wanted to give my body a break and I did a lot of research on the negative effects it has on your body and decided to just take a break, stop using it, so I stopped using it. I've been off for like like a month now, almost either almost a month or like a month. Um, I haven't noticed any dramatic differences yet. I'm thinking about doing like a video on my experience with it and like my experience transitioning off of it. So if you want to see that and see more of a personal video, let me know because I would love to film that for you guys once I have like more findings, you know, on stopping it. So that'll be in like a couple months if I do decide to do it because I do want to give like my full experience and like month to month results from after I stop. So yeah, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup now and you've seen my makeup routine a billion times So I don't want to show you again. So I'll talk to you after. All right guys. I'm ready for work now Afterwards, I am actually watching my niece Haven for a few hours with Keikoa He's actually gonna be there before me to watch her until I get off of work And then I'm gonna go over there and we're gonna watch her together so that'll be more interesting than me telling you I'm going to go to work. So I will definitely pick up the camera again after work when I'm with baby. See you later. Very quick intercession. I told you I wouldn't be back till after work, but I just wanted to show you what I'm eating for a quick snack really quick because I'm actually really hungry and won't have time to eat until a few hours later. So this is the So Delicious Dairy-Free Coconut Milk Yogurt Alternative. And I've seen this so many places like um, on certain people's channels and I really wanted to try it for the longest time because of the whole dairy, you know, dairy's not sitting well with really anyone's stomachs anymore nowadays. So I wanted to try an alternative and I just put granola in this one and it's like it's not my fave taste honestly um I prefer Greek yogurt a lot more but it is good um this is the vanilla yeah this is the vanilla one I think there's an original that one might be better but I'm just I don't know it's not like to die for like I don't think I'm gonna get it again but it is pretty good so yeah okay now I won't see you till after work 
Taylor. Say hi, vlog. <laughs> That's my toe. Are you fun and holy? Fun and holy? Hi! Where'd KK go? See you there. Can get the camera. Say hi, vlog. I've been vlogging. Say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. What? What is it now? She does it. She likes to face forward. Uh oh. Hey vlog. Hi vlog. Today's Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Okay, it's hot. We need to go. We're gonna go eat some ramen. Tajima. 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 Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna get, I might get ramen, I might get katsu, I don't know. Depends. Ramen. It's too hot for ramen. Hey, <laughs> Where's your food? They gave me the wrong food, so now they have to make it again. Didn't even let you keep it. I ordered the katsu, gone, and they gave me pork fried rice. What's up, everybody? Oh. I love being in your vlogs. Well, it was very dark, so I couldn't even tell. So after we ate, we went to the mall because... Really we nice mall. Killing... Not nice. You know what happens there. Um, We were killing time because we had to... Well, he is doing a consultation for his next tattoo, which is going to be what? On my arm. You guys will see. Okay, I guess you'll see. But we're here now, waiting for his tattoo artist to show up. He said 6.30. Your tattoo artist. Same person who did my tattoo. He said 6.30, it's 6.20. Now we're just waiting outside. And we are at the mall for like 20 minutes. And all I got was my Sephora birthday gift. Yeah, guys, go get your birthday gifts. Go get your Sephora birthday gifts. You know you know about this. Wait, hold on. You're putting it out of focus with your face. This is what she does. Gotta get the... But hey, it works though. Gotta get the, um... The Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream and Jelly Cleanser. I'm excited. I'm gonna show you. I'm here. Polypeptides? Learn about that in, ah. um... Nutrition. Oh, my hair stuck somewhere. And she wants to cut her hair. Yes, but I wasn't gonna tell them. Now we're just waiting. Sorry, this is such bad lighting. I'll show you his tattoo. No, wait. I want them to yeah. see the real thing. Oh my goodness. So these are owl feathers. And these are shark teeth. Tradition. I'm seeing all of how good this quality is. Crazy. And then this part's gonna be filled in, and then the inside part of this is gonna be filled in. This is where I got my tattoo. Awesome. And his. Hey vlog, we're back. Well, I'm back. Come here. So we decided to go to Trader Joe's and bake. Pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. They can't hear you when you're dragging your feet around on the floor. My shoes are too big, that's fine. This way. Stop focusing on your face. And we got this. And this one, but we're just gonna make this one tonight. No, this one. No, this one. That one closer to Halloween. But I want what cookies. do you think, you guys? This one closer to Halloween? Or this? Comment down below. They're gonna comment this one because oh, they one. know me. Pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix or Blondie Bars baking mix. Blondie Bars. Which one do you want? Do you want the one that takes less time to make or more time to make? Whichever one it is, we're making. Hello. I want the one that takes more time to make. Oh, because you know it's the bars. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Big 28 to 32 minutes. So 32. And that one is. 16. Fine, we can make the pumpkin one. Fine. Come here. No. Come here. No, you scratch me. I'm sorry. They can't see you looking at me. I'm here. Never mind. It's too late. Never mind. It's too late. Did she just lick me? <laughs> No, I didn't. I didn't lick you. Okay, Let's we're making make, the blondie no, bar. No, just make this. No, this actually looks really good. We're gonna make this. Oh my gosh. Um. I never win. This. This is what you wanted. But this is what you wanted. Yeah, but now I want this because I want to make those later. Can you get an egg and a four ounce melted butter stick? Four ounce. It yeah, says that. Ounce. Um, this is not gonna be a bake with me video because I'm gonna do those 
separate. So this is, I'm just gonna include a little bit of it. I keep looking at the viewfinder, sorry. Here's the mix. Pre-oven. Oven preheating. I'll get some mixing montages for you. Not yet though. Look at this delicious mix. Taste test, first taste, go. Oh, of yours, bro. Stop. You're so annoying. It's good. All right, first bite. Super good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not as sweet as an actual brownie. It's so good, I love it. But it's really good. 10 out of 10. Goodbye again. It's not for me to say you